Welcome to the Generic Tech Support YouTube channel, home of the Granite Security Package. Like and subscribe for more content. Ever curious if it's possible to delete a Windows operating system and make it so it's basically not recoverable? I'm going to show you how to do this with one script and two clicks. As with everything, the scripts in this video are in the Generic Tech Support website. But let's jump into the actual script. First thing we're going to do is we're going to set the data so it's unreadable. So we're going to encrypt it with BitLocker. Then we're going to wait 30 seconds. And after the 30 second timeout period, we're going to take the VSS admin and delete all the shadow copies, which is basically the system's ability to do a system restore, as well as any kind of snapshotting for the actual desktop itself to restore or recover the data. The final nail in the coffin is obviously to jump in the registry and delete the direct registry keys that are associated to our actual user's account and user's data. In order to fix Windows at that point, you're literally going to have to pop an ISO file onto a thumb drive, plug it in, and boot off the thumb drive and reinstall it as a brand new Windows operating system. All right, guys, so I modified the script slightly just because I wanted to remove the timeout because I have absolutely no desire to roll the system back after I run it. I have alternative methods to doing that. So let's run this script. We're just going to right click on this thing and do run as administrator and choose yes. We're going to encrypt the drive. After we encrypt the drive, we're going to delete all the shadow copy restore points. Then we're going to take ownership and attempt to delete every file in all directories listed. Once that script is done, we're going to right click. We're going to left click. We're going to click on start menu. We're going to notice it does nothing. None of this stuff does anything anymore. Can't get into anything. Nothing will open because the OS at this point is wrecked. We just restarted and you can see Windows is now attempting to boot back in. Ah, uh, there we go, blue screen of death. There you go, we can see it again through another blue screen of death. And it's just gonna do this loop over and over and over again until attempts, there we go, attempting to prepare automatic repairing. And it's just not gonna work. It's just gonna throw an error that it doesn't have access to actually repair the directory or that the directory cannot be fixed or cannot be recovered. So I'm not going to continue to burn the time in the actual video for this thing running through it, but we're at 33% resetting the PC and I'll restart the video around like 90 something. I got to about 45% through this error and says that basically there is no way for us to reset this PC with the data that exists on it. And you can see once we click out of there and we get back to the main window here, we really don't have too much of an option. We could use a USB device or network connection or recovery DVD. So that's how you could ruin a Windows 11 machine with literally two clicks. You right click, you left click, it runs a script. When it's done, it wipes the configuration, it wipes the machine, it wipes the data and makes it so that way you cannot recover without an ISO file. 